Hey guys, it's Nancy here and I want to read you my blog. I know that some of you prefer to listen to that on YouTube. So Monday, April 15th, 2024, the blog is spring. Another beautiful day here in New Hampshire. I'm grateful to be witnessing spring for the first time in many years, and it is miraculous. Let's talk about spring and how we can utilize the energy of spring to create some goals and action steps to take. So spring is an energy. It's the popping out of all these intentions that we have been making over the winter. Throughout winter, we have dreamed longed and visualized for this time of year and what we're going to do. Now is the time to do it. So I have created an, an exercise for you, a journaling exercise. You know me, I'm all about journaling. So you're going to take your journal and you're going to free write about anything that comes to mind related to your dreams for this year. This might have to do with some goals that you put in place at the beginning of the year, or it might just be some new ideas that you've been thinking about as the weather has been teasing you. Write in no particular order. Don't worry about the how. Try not to put too much thought into it. Just ramble about what you dream about spending your time doing this summer. Set a timer and write for 10 to 15 minutes only. If you go much longer than this, you may start questioning yourself. When you put the pen down, take a break or even close your journal and come back the next day. Look at the list. Which of the items on the list make your heart beat a bit faster? Do any of them give you goosebumps? Pick two or three things that are the most exciting for you and on a fresh piece of paper in your journal, start to write about what it would mean to you if you are able to start working toward these goals. It does not have to be about the achievement of them, although it can be. Most important, I want you to write about how it feels to be doing the things you picked. Where are you? Who are you with? What do you really like about it? Then pick one action step you can take toward making this happen. It can be easy and small, like buying a book to learn more about what you want to achieve. It can be about researching people that might help you and support you in your goals. Take an action step for each of the two or three things that you have put at the top of this page. Now, with all the energy of spring, take the action step. That first one, the most important goal, take that first action step. And when you've done it, celebrate yourself. After this is accomplished, sit again with your journal and review your last couple of entries. That means read a, that free writing again and read about what it means to you to be working toward these goals. And when you're back in touch with that energy, that positive energy, then you want to write another action step for one of the other two or three goals. What would be the next thing that will move you closer to that end? And you can do all three goals at the same time if it's something that, that, that would be appropriate. Or you could pick one goal and start laser focusing on that. And each time you've accomplished one of those action steps, then you're going to refresh your energy, meditate on it a little bit, and then write down just the next step. 
You don't have to plot out all the steps. You don't need to know the whole way until the end. All you need to do is pick that next small step and keep moving in the direction of your dreams and your goals. What is the next thing that's going to get you closer to that end? So there are some things that can get in our way. Distractions, lack of self-worth, and fear of other people's opinions. So one way to overcome these hurdles is to hire a coach. I know firsthand how easy it is to put other people's goals ahead of mine. I have definitely experienced what it's like to feel that I don't deserve to succeed. I think we all know what it's like to be frozen into indecision with too much weight being put on what other people think. What if we make a mistake? What if we fail? And some, for some people, is what, you know, that fear of actually achieving your dreams. So this is why I became a coach. I know what having a coach has done for me, and I want to be able to do this for others. The other day, I received a note from a client, and it made me feel incredibly happy. This is exactly the impact I want to have. And to know that I'm able to help other people achieve the joy and progress they dream about with their horses, that is my dream come true. So Andrea wrote, after a couple of years, my dressage journey not going as I expected or was hoping for. I have struggled with my mindset around horses and horse riding. I turned to the arena of self-development for tools and tricks, which has been super helpful. But this left me on my own to make that connection with riding. A bit over a month ago, I started following your webinars and they have been incredibly helpful and inspiring. First, they have de- helped me in feeling that I am not alone with these mindset struggles and when I am around horses. It feels like every week I get a reminder that I can draw upon the webinars for help, reach out for, with questions, and even realize there are others experiencing the same. Second, they have made the connection between the coaching tools and concepts to horse riding so clear, it just clicks easily when I apply them. Learning from someone that knows both sides, coaching and riding, helps a lot because you know specifically what is important and what has the highest likelihood to work and what might differ when it's applied on a horse. Third, they are really motivating. You speak in a way that gives me the feeling that I can take control of my mindset. So every time I watch a webinar, I can't wait to go out to the stable and apply it. I'm super, super grateful to have found you and I'm excited to keep growing and developing with your guidance. Thank you, Andrea Sasana. So please... If this sounds like something you could use a little help with, visit my website, carouselcoaching.com, and sign up for my weekly webinars. Even better, sign up for personal coaching. I'm scheduling freelance lessons near Ringe here in New Hampshire, and I have um, availability for remote, remote lessons as well as some clinic dates still available. So my passion is using my experience to help you achieve your goals sooner and with more ease. I'm a Grand Prix dressage trainer with special dedication to the development of the seat and connection. In addition, I'm experienced with groundwork that teaches anxious horses how to develop more confidence and stability. This work I can teach to any rider and empower them to have more success preparing their horses for shows and challenging situations. 
So happy spring, welcome warm weather, and I look forward to helping you achieve your dreams. Have a great day, Nancy.